Long time no see, Lloyd. Oh, you... you seem to be doing all right. We're all fine. Glad that seems to be the case for you two as well. Arendelle told us you'd come to Crossbell, but it feels much better seeing your face. I last saw you as the Ashen Chevalier, but I suppose I should think of you more as just one of Class 7 now, shouldn't I? I take it you were able to stop whatever was jamming our communications? Yeah. We managed to disable the device that was responsible. We were able to recover the sonorous seashell that it was using, too. You know, I was worried sick when I heard about what happened at the ceremony. Elisa, Akius, Toa, Sharon. It's so good to see you all looking well. <laughs> the same to you, Reen. What, what happened to your eye and your hair? Yeah, what's the story there? I'm sorry for surprising you. Things have taken some... turns, we'll say. I see our Bracer friends have been fighting the good fight over there. Thanks, gang. You might also want to know that we were able to rescue Prince Olivert and Lady Sherizard. So don't you worry another minute about that. Really? That is a relief. <laughs> it's a shame they had hell to deal with straight off into their honeymoon. At least they're both all right. If only that spelled the end of our troubles. You're talking about the Supreme Leader's statement, I assume. We were only able to catch part of it. We heard the whole thing. I'll fill you in. That is sheer madness! He wants the Empire, the Republic... No, the world to swear fealty to him? Oh boy, this is starting to sound real bad. I imagine the Empire will remain silent for the time being, but Calvert would never. They won't hesitate to crush Crossbell upon labeling it a terrorist state, and they'll point the fault for its formation at Erebonia. I wouldn't put that past their new president at all. Yeah, even if the Supreme Leader isn't the real Rufus Alperea. That little revelation was quite the shocker. I can't believe the person responsible for occupying the city isn't even the real guy. Had we not met the real one in the capital, I wouldn't have believed it either. It sounds like we've encountered a number of fakes between us, including the Divine Blade of Wind and the Almighty Conflagration. We're starting to weed out the replicas from the real ones, though. The speed at which he occupied Crossbell after breaking out of jail seemed almost impossible till the whole replica angle came to light. I feel like you suspected he was an imposter even before knowing these replicas existed, Lloyd. Yeah, there were a few things that struck me as off, for lack of a better term. Like how Lecter felt his actions as a fellow Ironblood didn't make any sense. Once we learned about all the replicas, everything else began to fall into place. I see. Ha! <laughs> Who knew I'd be a clue? Well, if he's not the real deal, that makes things simple for us. We've just got to smash his fake-ass face in. I'm with Ash. Especially now we've managed to make our way into Crossbell. Though we're also going to need to be careful of the other replica that we know is at large. Right. The phenomenon itself is called assimilation, right? And it's behind all these changes to my body. Yes. It's like he's able to erode your very existence somehow. Unfortunately, we can't say for sure what will happen if the process is allowed to continue, either. This is horrible. That Eighth Divine Knight you mentioned must be dealt with. What you're going through matters just as much to us. The SSS will help you however we can, Rain. Let's uncover the truth, together. Thanks, Lloyd. We want to help you just as much. Whatever you need to liberate Crossbell, you can count on us. And he really does mean whatever. We're clearly going to need all the help we can get to resolve this. Then allow us to offer our assistance as well. What? Rufus? Forgive me for listening in, but I had to take the chance once it presented itself. 
Ren? Sight! Even the Divine Blade of Wind and Duvali. I am pleased to see you again, my friends. <laughs> Pay me no mind. Call me but a fly on the wall of this whole affair. I apologize for disappearing without notice. Rest assured that Shizuku is well and in the care of someone we can trust. That's good. I was worried about her. This is great and all, but... When did you get there, Ren? We thought you were still in Liberal. I sneaked my way into Crossbell after getting a message from Grandpa York. I couldn't contact you from the inside, and I had to be careful about when to reach out after I joined our fine friend. Rufus. <clears throat> I see you're still with those same children we saw at the Capitol. Now that I've revealed myself, I ought to start with some hellos. Starting with our dear SSS. It's been some time. As for my friends from Thor's, the ones who were in Heimdall can see I've done away with my mask for the most part. And Claire, Lecter, I'm pleased to see you're in good health. <laughs> nice haircut. You really are him. I think all of his helping hands can vouch for him being the real Rufus, yes. <clears throat> I would like to make it clear that I was not hired to do anything. He only hired Nadia and Swin, not me. Aw, did it bug you that much? <sighs> he may as well be your boss, though. So it was you, after all. You helped us when we were stuck at the military factory a couple days ago. Oh! There we have it. Some faces to match the voices. I knew it was you, Ren! I knew it! I figured you would recognize me. Your assistance then was just as valuable for us, I'm sure you realize. To return the favor, we have information I think you'll find very enlightening. It regards the nature of the being behind all of this. Elysium. So we now have the kind of technological singularity Theorized by Professor Epstein. How funny. That something so life-ending as the war would be the key to granting new life like this instead. A super-intelligent AI that can calculate, in essence predict, the future. It then realizes its calculations, creating replicas like the Supreme Leader who desired to enact Crossbell's occupation. And the only way to try and stop it is through its former administrator. Your name is Lapis, I think I heard. Lapis Rosenberg is correct, yes. But I would ask that you not stare in that boorish manner. Rosenberg dolls are noble and elegant. They must be looked upon with all the love and respect they are entitled. I, I didn't mean to, sorry. I'm just in awe of you. So am I. Bell showed me Rosenberg's dolls before, but none of them compare to you. Your base materials appear very different from combat shells, but the tech involved is still just as advanced. Her faultless craftsmanship is truly Meister Yorg's signature. Uh, I... I want to pop open the hood and get a good look at the tech inside. <laughs> How crude! You're awful! Down, Tita. I'm surprised they accepted that explanation without hesitation. Guess future predicting AIs are just Tuesday if you've been through enough crazy in your life. Who or whatever now administrates Elysium is without doubt behind my replica. I expect you'll need its former administrator to uncover the truth and liberate Crossbell. Though I am the man who enclosed many of you in a birdcage, and though I had a role in setting the twilight in motion, would you still be willing to accept my help? Rufus Alberea, on behalf of the special support section of the Crossbell Police Department, I accept. We've suffered a hell of a lot at your hands, for sure. But because of that, 
We know better than anyone just what you're capable of. <laughs> it sounds weird when you say it out loud, but it's true. Calvert is likely preparing to act as we speak. But if we can swiftly liberate the city and begin negotiating with them, I don't think it's too late to turn this around. Exactly. So we need to make the logical choice here. The one that will allow us to earn Crossbell's independence once and for all. It's time to take back what matters most to us. <laughs> Everyone... Team Liberal's got your back all the way! As do we. Just bear in mind that accepting your help here does not preclude you and I from a very long, very overdue talk. <laughs> Once this is over, you may have as much of my time as you please. Now then, we shall count ourselves among your number. This will be my chance to right my past wrongs, to complete what I'd left unfinished. And... I think there's another reason now as well. Rufus. All right. Let's get to work on figuring out a plan. Right. Don't be afraid to speak up. We'll need all the input we can get. We have received word that rebel forces will soon begin their attack on the city. So, let them come and see your might as the Ebon Defense Force for everlasting peace! Victory for Crossbell! Glory to the Supreme Leader! It appears we're all set here. The White Orchid Dragon is, of course, continuing to be an ever-unpredictable element. Eh, whatever happens will happen. You ready to go? Yes, sir!
It's almost time to begin the operation. The CGF will work with the police to subdue the Ebon Defense Force while prioritizing the safety of citizens above all else. Meanwhile, the SSS Class 7 and Rufus Alborea's group will use this opening to make for the tower, where they will apprehend the Supreme Leader. Crossbell's fate rests on your shoulders, everyone. Good luck. Yes, ma'am! You can do it, guys. Commence the operation! All units advance! Land. Are these guys? The dance is warping their minds. It's the supreme leaders done putting on airs then. Everyone else, go ahead. We'll catch up soon enough. Roger that. I'll leave this to you for now. <laughs> Damn right. Now get out of here. Let's move ahead and find Reen. And I'll go meet up with Rufus as planned. May Adios keep you safe, Special Support Section. Right back at you. We'll rendezvous in front of the tower. I tell Rain and Uni I said hey. Will do! Shall we? The real battle starts now, everyone. It's time we take back our crossbell. Yeah. Estelle? We're counting on you guys. No problemo. We've got your backs. Should be about time for the other teams to kick things off. Then let's do the same. Can't let them outshine us. Enemies nearby. Careful! Yes! Perfect! I've got you! It's my turn! Raring to go! Yeah! I'm going in! My go. Commencing 
bone dry. I'm going in. All right. Uh, yeah. Raring to go. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. You won't let fire. Now's our chance. Following up. Why you? Leave it to me. Arcus, act. Death awaits you. You! Okay. Arcus activate. Yeah. There! Why you? Enemy neutralized. On to the next. I need to keep at it. I've done it! <laughs> Leveled up. Of course I'd improve. That you can't. <gasps> Run! Insight too. <laughs> You've done quite well, Estelle, Tita. It's been some time, Tio. Lloyd, you and the others should take pride in coming this far. Guess you had no problem getting through, huh? I swear, do you realize how much you make us worry? Yeah, I never would have expected you to be with the former Governor General. <laughs> I can't help but wonder who was worrying whom. But I digress. I'm so glad you're all okay. Yeah, <laughs> me too. We're not the same without you, Red. Good, because I'm not the same without you. Same goes for you, Zite. Welcome back. We've done more than enough passing like airships in the night, I'd say. <laughs> I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> you have my apologies. I had wanted to reach out to you. But from now on, I will be at your side as the Special Support Section's police dog. That's what I like to hear. And just like that, the SSS is together once again. Here, here. Once Keto is back, we gotta throw a party or something. I see them. Risha! Thank goodness, you're back. And w Wazi too. Everyone's here. Huh. It's so good to see your faces. I've missed you, Sully. Oh, nice to see our resident delinquents as well. Crossbellans sure are a hardy bunch. The SSS are as good as those they protect. 
It brings me great pride to be among them. You're the best, Zite. Now let's live up to that! Keep at it. I've done it! <laughs> Leveled up! Of course I'd improve. There's more where that came from. There we go. <laughs> I got a little stronger. <laughs> nice! All threats will be eliminated! Testament cross! It's my turn! Raring to go! Commencing drive! <laughs> now then... There! <laughs> Raring to go! Arcus activate! <laughs> there! Okay! Commencing chair! All right! Uh, it's my go! Commencing drive! Yeah. Here you go! Yeah! <laughs> Very well! Arcus activate. Okay. Commencing drive. Yeah. Here you go. There. <laughs> okay. 
Commencing drive. My turn now. Arcus activate. Leave it to me. Ah. Ah. There. Ah. Enhancing. Huh. <coughs> Death awaits you. If I'm to protect what matters most to me, then I can't lose. I never thought the day'd come when I'd take another assignment here. You've got real guts hiring us again. Well, I am the only one capable of playing such a special hand. And I expect it to be very special with what you're charging me. We'll put in the work. Now let's go! Yeah! He did all of this for Crossbell? He even went out of his way to hire the very same red constellation he used for his own plot. Damn, he's pulling out all the stops. Traitors! How dare a filthy prisoner like you repay the Supreme Leader's generosity this way! Huh! <laughs> From a risk assessment perspective, you should have all seen this coming. In fact, I think your Supreme Leader did. Lloyd! Ellie! Go stop Elia. Her dance is what supplies the Zalber soul dots with power. Stop her, and it's all over. Oh! I wouldn't have ever connected the two. Uncle Theater. You're due to show me more of that fire that's never once faded in you after all these years. And I know it'll burn brighter than ever today. Because if you can stop a president, you can surely stop a supreme leader. <laughs> We owe you one, Teeter. Onward! <laughs> <laughs>